It's time for sixth grade camp. I'm going to school. Well, first I'm getting breakfast, then I'm going to school. Then I'm gonna help us pack and get ready and label all the luggage, and then we'll be off. Yeah? It's taking like forever for the buses to load. So I have pulled out a book. This is my official camp book because I feel like it would be easy to dip in and out of over the course of the week. And there's two other kids on that bus that were also reading. So we were having a silent reading party, which is like randomly before camp. These are our accommodations. And of course, I picked the bunk. Oh my gosh, you guys. Sixth grade camp, I am here. I am heading to the shooting range, um, which is like half the time the kids shoot, I think 22s, and half the time they do archery. And I love archery. Um, I had so much fun with that last time. So that's where I'm headed right now. But it's really fun because I'm not assigned a group of kids so I can just go wherever I want. So I kind of like will bop around between activities. Um, so obviously archery is something that's really fun for me. So I'm gonna go there. But also I have a lot of kids that I adore that are in the group that's doing it right now. Today is our first day and we have two activities. Um, so the kids are gonna do one activity for two hours, another activity for two hours. Then they will have dinner. After dinner, the girls are doing a dune hike, which is my favorite part of camp. Basically, we walk from here to some dunes that are by Silver Lake, and um, it's just super, super fun. We hike like all the way there, which is awesome. And then we hike up the dunes, which is like, they're so high. And then afterwards, we play this game called Gold Rush, which is like this extreme version of tag where like you have these like pieces of gold that are hidden and you have to like run to the other side to get gold and then bring it back to your side without being tagged. It's so much fun. You may fire at will. Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay. Yeah, good job, April. Then come back and come down. Is that your plan? Okay. There you go. Uh, All you do is flip a good chip. Purple. All right. Good job. Woo! Good job, Jacob. Basically, permission to transfer too. Are you guys doing something? One person that wants to go up. So, yeah. Woo! Good job, Jacob! You are so great! You're doing such a great job! Look at you! Yeah! Good job, Jacob! Good job! Once he gets down, then you've got Izzy coming. Okay? Yeah, grab it. Woo! Yeah, good job. Okay, uh, you just did something really scary. Can you tell our viewers what it was? The high ropes course. And how do you feel now? How do you feel? A little scared. Yeah. A little bit more scared. Okay, but you did it anyway, right? Yeah. So how do you feel now that it's all done? Happy. Happy, happy, happy! You did awesome! We are on a dune hike right now, and the children are whining and saying, are we there yet? Now we're going straight up. I have my watch going so we can see how much elevation gain. Oh my gosh.
it. I am so tired. I went to bed at 12 because <clears throat> the teachers and I just like stayed up late chatting and laughing and all that. But I could not fall asleep until 3 a.m. because whoever was last in bed thought the lights wouldn't turn off. So we were literally sleeping in the daytime. And I was like, not wanting to leave my cat bunk to go turn off the freaking lights because it wasn't my job because I wasn't in bed by last. Oh my gosh, now I'm about to perish because I probably only got like three hours of sleep. Okay, so I think I have decided that if I'm still this tired, I'm going to take a nap after lunch. It is like almost nine o'clock right now. So we have our first activity, which will last two hours, and then one more activity that will last two hours and then lunchtime. Um, but anyway, um, basically this is my second year at sixth grade camp. So I have learned a bit compared to last year. We are doing the same activities that we did last year. So each activity involves meeting with the group, meeting your leaders, going over directions and procedures and all that. And I know directions and procedures. So I think that I am going to take reading breaks for like the half hour 45 minutes or so between like transitioning meeting your new leaders um all that sort of stuff and i am currently reading the house in the cerulean sea i'm only on chapter two because i feel a bit guilty reading during camp but i feel like there's there could be a lot of downtime and honestly i am working for three days straight like 24 hours a day so I feel like I can be allowed little bursts of reading throughout the day. Okay, you guys, I have to tell you what just happened. So, basically, last year I was terrified to do some of the things here, but I did them anyway. And the main one I did last year was I did the high ropes course, but I didn't go very far at all. I went to like the top of the ladder and then came back down on the inside version, not the outside version. And then this year, I did flying squirrel for the first time. And it was actually so much fun that I want to do it again. But basically, it's just this huge, like, I don't know, structure. And um, you are on a harness, and there's a rope coming from the harness going over. And then people are, like, basically belaying you so that you won't fall or whatever. But they, like, pull on the rope so that you go up in the air. And it was so much fun. Anyway. I'm gonna take a little reading break. We just had lunch, I'm gonna take a reading break. Then I'm gonna go to archery and the guns again because those are the funnest, the most fun for me. And um, then at some point I would like to do flying squirrel again, but this is our last activity of the day. And then we're gonna do waterfront and have dinner and then do our evening activities. But this is the last like rotation, I guess, for the day. Okay, this is our last day of camp and we're gonna have breakfast in about 15 minutes. Then we're gonna do activities, we have lunch, and then we have to kind of like, not really have much going on, but wait for the buses to come because the buses have to bring all the school kids places uh, at the end of the day before they can come get us. It's gonna be a long day. <laughs> but yesterday I did flying squirrel halfway up walking today. I'm going to do it all the way up walking and then I think I'm going to do it all the way up with swinging and running. It's going to be awesome. I just have to pick which group to do it with. Run! 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 Run!
Good job, guys. Editing Karen, I did not finish the house in the Cerulean Sea, but basically we have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday left of school, and I kind of think I should use that time when I get home each of those days to like finish up all the half-read books that I have so that I can have a fresh start this summer. So hopefully soon you will see me reviewing that book because I will have finished it, but I did not finish it in this trip, unfortunately. But I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and attending sixth grade camp in some kind of way. And I hope you guys have an amazing day.